day for audiovisual heritage. And on the line, we have Dave Parsons from NEFA, which is the Northeast Film Archive. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. And how are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me today. Oh, it's always a pleasure. Right now, um, I've never heard, heard of Northeast Film Archive, so can you just explain a bit about it, sir? Well, the Northeast Film Archive is the regional film and television archive for the Northeast of England. So our remit is very simple. Uh, our remit is to collect, to preserve, and most importantly, make available the moving image history and heritage of the Northeast of England, from Middlesbrough here in the south as far north as the no Scottish borders. Right, because of course, um, preserving the heritage, whether it be through film, television, or other medium, it's an ex well, it's very important, isn't it, for the North East? It's very important. Uh, we have films dating back to the beginning part of the 20th century that kind of bring to life for people the history, the heritage of their area, their families, their, their, their lives. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a great archive and it's a, it's a great resource for people uh, to, to make use of and to, to see. Now, um, the first question I'd like to ask you, Dave, is what is the purpose of the archive itself? Well, the purpose, um, I've kind of as I said, explained, it's, uh, our purpose is to, to, to collect, uh, to look after, to, to keep the films going, to keep them uh, in their best possible shape for as long as possible, uh, and then to bring the films back to the people who, who made them, who featured them, who are about their, their culture, their, their lifestyle, their work lives. Uh, it, that is, that's what we're here to do, is what we try to do is all we can. And does the North East Film Archive collect anything and everything, or is there a selection process? There is an obvious selection process. Um, our remit is to collect films to do with the North East, so the, f the focus for us is to collect things about the things that have happened in this region, about people from this area, about the history of this particular region. We don't generally collect films that are from other areas, other parts of the country, there are other regional film archives out there that uh, do that, that particular job, uh, but ours is, is really to do with this particular area of the country. And can anyone access the archive? Um, anyone's more than welcome to make an appointment to come in and see some of our films. Uh, we do have our own website, northeastfilmarchives.com. Uh, at the moment, there's about 24 hours of film material there for people to view and watch. Uh, if they have access to the internet, it's also worth checking out BFI Player, the British Film Institute, uh, Britain on Film. It's a project that we've been working with for a couple of years, uh, and they've kindly provided funding for us to digitise and make available uh, about uh, 100, 150 other, other films in our collection that without their funding we wouldn't have been able to make available. And of course the collection must expand every day, every month. Absolutely. I'm sitting here right in front of me right now looking at a new collection as I'm speaking. Wow. Now, why is it important to keep these films around? It's important to keep these films around because they are part of our history. They are part of our heritage in as much as uh, documents and books and libraries uh, and photographs. Uh, it's our job to kind of to keep these going as long as possible. If we didn't do it, then... Uh, they may deteriorate, they may disappear, they, 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 they know they'll be part of our history be gone. I suppose really, if it wasn't for uh, societies like yourself, then uh, the North East could lose a lot of uh, much documented heritage uh, on film. Absolutely, and we are always on the lookout for a new and exciting collection, so if anybody has a box of film that's underneath their bed or in a, in a cabinet and they don't know what it is or what it's about, then please contact us and we would very much love to hear from them and take a look at it and to make some decisions about whether it be of any benefit for the region. Have you had any uh, films uh, given to you and you've like, really been in awe and surprised because you know the, the uh, actual film is so rare? All the time, all the time. Uh, one of my personal favourite films uh, on our website is called Jesmond Dean. It's a, it's a film about uh, the park in Newcastle, and it came to us by a gentleman who found it in a skip. He didn't know what it was. He thought it might have been a, um, a prom promotional film made about the area in the 70s. But in actual fact, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of amateur film made of that particular period in about, in about 1951, and it, it's, it's really beautiful, and it kind of it, it encapsulates the, the life of Newcastle, that particular period. Yeah. Are these films public domain for anyone to use? Um, they are available for people to, to use. Uh, we do license material out 
to, to organisations. Uh, for example, at the moment, uh, we have footage at uh, the localism exhibition at MIMA in Middlesbrough. Uh, we also provide material for television broadcast and for, uh, for cinema on occasion, but we also provide material for education. If you're here at Teesside University, where we're based, we provide material for students. Uh, people who would like to, to make use of it in general, um, they're more than welcome to contact us. We can provide DVD copies of them. If they're doing research, they're more than welcome to make an appointment to come in. If it's digitised, we can easily make it available through our computers. If not, then we can put it on our machines and we can certainly uh, allow people to view it. There are sometimes, if, the, if somebody would like to make a, get a copy of a film that's not transferred, there are costs involved and we need to pass that on because we are we are an independent charity and this is one of the ways in which we generate an income to keep ourselves going. Without, the, without that funding, we'd be shut down pretty quickly. So it's a case that if any TV companies are doing documentaries about the North East, mm -hmm. then they would come to you first. Uh, we hope so, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, so if anybody out there listening is looking for some exciting, interesting questions to do with, with this region, then please let us know. Now you have an eclectic uh, film collection spanning uh, right across the decades. Uh, what kind of films are there in this collection at the moment? Well, uh, we have a lot of industrial films to do with the region. Uh, we have a lot of films to do with the steel industry, the south industry that's uh, kind of in decline in this region, the coal industry, the shipbuilding industry, the chemical industry at Billingham and places like that. But uh, we also have a growing collection of amateur and home movies. Uh, this is kind of unusual. These are, these are personal films made by people about events and activities that take place going back to the 20s. It's birthdays and weddings and get-togethers and holidays, all these things. Uh, we've also got a large collection of advertising film that came through uh, a company called Turners of Newcastle. They were based in Pink Lane. They made a lot of promotion and marketing films to do with the region. Uh, I think when they close, we have about 700 of their films in our archive. We also have an extensive television collection, which is both from BBC Newcastle as well as, Tyne, as what was Tyne T's television. And we have all the surviving film material from Tiny Television from 1959 to 1988, I think is the, the latest. And so it's, it's an eclectic and extremely large collection. And of course, it must take a lot of space up. It does indeed. We have specially built uh, arch film archive vaults here at Teesside University, which, uh, through their support, was built here in about 2003. So these films are stored in uh, climate control rooms, which are at a specific temperature and humidity. Uh, and the idea being is it's, it's quite cold. Uh, and the temperature will keep them going for as long as possible, probably, hopefully, for many hundreds of years. And, of course, I mean, societies like yourself are so important because it's uh, shown through film and other medium the changing landscape of the North East. Absolutely, absolutely. We've got films showing uh, uh, the countryside and, and rural life in Northumberland going back to the 1920s and 1930s. We've got the changing landscape of Newcastle. The changing way, the, 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 the way the landscape has changed with, with urban development, both on, 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 on Tyne side as well as on Weir side as well as on Tee side. We've got people's families changing. We've got entire collections of uh, people's families who film starting when their little children were born, right up until they're grown up and going off to university. So it, it, it kind of uh, it's a, it's a rainbow of life in the region. It spans uh, everything across the northeast, doesn't it? It does indeed, yes. Yeah. Now, um, we touched on uh, your Jesmond archive. Uh, do you have any favourite films in the collection? Um, I, I, Jesmond is one of my personal favourites, uh, but I'm also a big fan of a film called um, Learn Yourself, Geordie. That is a, a film made by a South Shield animator. One of our, by the positive name is Sheila Graber, and it is a short 10 minute animation that is based upon a book called Learn Yourself Geordie by Scott Dobson, who, who, who wrote a book about the Geordie dialect and the Geordie culture. And it's really, it's very funny and it, it's very poignant. It says a lot about the region. And that, again, is a film that is available to view uh, on BFI Player. If anybody wants to take a look at it, uh, go to BFI Player, so click on. Uh, Britain on film and uh, type in Newcastle and it'll bring up all the films to do with that area including Learn Yourself Geordie. Now of course having such a big collection uh, do you ever do public exhibitions of the films in the collection you have? Uh, we are we did one fairly recently in Sunderland, Sunderland on film uh, we had a, a fantastic turnout of more than 250 local people came in to see the film of their area 
Uh, we are currently uh, putting together another film show to take place in Newcastle at the Time Said Cinema on the, I think it's the 6th, 7th and 8th of December. Uh, details haven't been finalised yet, we're still working on that, but if people like to keep an eye on our website, northeastfilmarchives.com, there will be available, information will be available. And of course, if you're in Middlesbrough, you're more than welcome to go along to the Middle Institute of Modern Art and take a look at the uh, curated footage we've got on there to do with Middlesbrough and the Teesside area. And hopefully next year we're going to do a film show in Hartlepool. But these are just some of the things that we've got potentially planned at the moment, but I'm sure we'll have plenty more for next year. I mean, you're a very busy person now, uh, aren't you? Uh, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> now, uh, as I said, tomorrow is World Audiovisual Heritage Day. Do you have any special plans for tomorrow? Uh, we don't have anything particularly planned for tomorrow, I'm afraid, no, sorry. Right, okie dokie. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's a case that... Uh, is to say, if it wasn't for your uh, organisation, then I think a lot of the heritage would be lost in the North East. It could be, yes, yes. But we work with, as I said, we work with other organisations, we work with archives, we work with museums uh, to, 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 to help preserve other film archives for this region and uh, in the same way they're there to, uh, to preserve archival documents and museum objects. So we're all kind of part of the same organisation. Now, of course, you have a website... NortheastFilmArchives.com And if they want to contact you by telephone? Our telephone number is 01642384022 and our email is nefa, N-E-F-A, at tease.ac.uk Well, Dave, thank you ever so much for coming on Ignition Radio. It's a fascinating subject, Northeast Film Archives, and uh, I'm going to try and get along to one of your exhibitions as well, your events uh, in the future. You're more than welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, as I say, I hope uh, your events uh, uh, carry on and get bigger. I mean, that's the thing about the North East. There's so much cultural heritage. People should go out and taste a bit of it through film. Absolutely, and there's a passion for it. There's the one thing that we've learned with the, the screenings we've done already in Middlesbrough, in, in Washington, in Sunderland, that people really, really really focus on it, really feel something about this material, and that's what brings them out, and that's what makes them support us. Well, that's what it's all about, isn't exactly. it? Yeah. yeah. Well, Dave, thanks very much for coming on Ignition Radio this morning. Not a problem. And, uh, as I say, uh, much power to you with your events coming up in the future, and uh, no doubt, as I say, I'd like to come to one of these events, because, uh, well, I have a great interest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very Not much for problem. coming. Thank have you. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye. There we go, that's uh, Dave uh, Parsons from the NAFA, which is the Northeast Film Association Archive, and uh, he's been on Ignition Radio, and uh, of course, events coming up. Go to the website as well, and their telephone number, if you want to know more, it's 01642384022.